proud to announce that our town garbage truck is now completely insured against all possible threats. We're covered for theft, collision, rust, and for an extra million a year, monsters. Mr. Mayor, what exactly is monster insurance for? Oh, pretty much anything you can think of. Attacks on the truck by your sea creatures, your rock monsters, your giant birds. What, did you get insurance against aliens too? Yes, we are covered against space monsters. The only thing we're not insured against is monsters of pure energy. But come on, people, that's science fiction. Uh, Mr. Mayor, can I have a quick uh, word with you, sir? Bye-bye, bye-bye now. That's all for today. Always leave them wanting more. Bob, Doug, can I have a word with you in the trouble room? Now, don't worry. You're not in trouble. Guys, I lied. You are in trouble. Oh, jeez. You see, fellas, one of the conditions of our new truck insurance policy is that all of our garbage employees have to be high school graduates. Now, according to your permanent records, you two dropped out before taking your English final. Now, I didn't want to believe it, but then I had a sketch artist put this together, and I think it's pretty damning. What do you guys have to say about this? Well, it looks like I'm playing soccer, and Doug here is driving a car with a face. Ah, what do you know about art? You're just a couple of dropouts. Now, go back to school and get your diplomas, or there's no place for you in the garbage business. <laughs> Sorry, McKenzie's. Come on, McCartney's. We've got garbage to haul. You must be so excited to go back to high school. When I was in high school, back in the class of I'm not telling, I was the belle of the ball. I don't know, Peggy. I don't remember it being that great. What are you talking about? High school was great. Doug, are you coming to my makeup party tonight? Sorry, baby. I gotta go save democracy. Oh, goody, flashbacks. Let me try. Should we wait for her? Nah, let's just go get this high school thing over with. Okay, but if I do this, you promise you'll marry me? Charlotte? Get me the press on the insurance announcement. Oh, it's like they didn't even see that great speech I gave. What do I have to do to impress these people? You know, I have an eight-point plan to revitalize the downtown. I can't take your idea, Charlotte. That's cheating. I know. I'll hit the streets and fix this town. Then everyone will like me. Even you, Charlotte. I'll win that vote yet. All right, kids, my name's Mr. Hamilton, but you don't have to call me that. I want you to call me Captain, or Captain, or how about Capital Steps? <laughs> Whoa, just make sure you don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> oh, Shakespeare wasn't about books, so go ahead and tear them up. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> don't worry, kids. Well, he's so quirky and unconventional, eh? Yeah, and unconventional uh, means everybody gets an A. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, look at my nipples. All right, Hamilton, let's get you back to the home. Don't worry, kids. They can't catch me. Not while I have this. Cappadia! Well, what have we here? Let me guess. A couple of gangbangers fresh out of the joint and back in class. Uh, we're not gangbangers. You don't talk in here, Tukey. 
You may run the streets, but I run this class. And I'm not just gonna give up on you like every other adult in your life. And once you guys get into McGill, you'll finally make a movie about me. Hopefully starring Kevin Spacey. Now get out of my sight. Uh, okay. Don't come back till you're ready to learn. <laughs> That's a pretty good line. And don't come back till you've prepared yourself to... No, no. It was better the first way. I bet you're all wondering how we managed to make this high school episode so realistic, eh? We hired a consultant to help us out. His name is Rich. Come on out. Rich! Yo, Wolves. I told you. The name's our dog our tards Oh, right. Sorry. So, uh, what are the kids into these days? Forget you and your dumb hat, loser. It's like you don't even know how dumb you sound. Well, thanks for your time, Rich. Shut up. We're gonna have to put in some hard work to pass this class, Doug. You know what's easier than hard work? No work! Just steal the answers to this exam, we'll be out of this dump and back at the dump in no time. We can't cheat, Doug. It's not cheating. It's learning the answers. Yeah, but what if we get caught, eh? We won't get caught. Trust me. But, Doug, when you cheat, you only cheat yourself. Exactly. We're only cheating ourselves. Moreover, we're not even supposed to be here. We should be out there on our route. Remember the route, Bob? Remember garbage? <laughs> So you're on board for this? Yeah, you're right. We owe it to the root. I wonder how Dwight's doing without us. He probably doesn't even remember we exist. All right, McKenzie's. We're finished in record time. Oh, wait. You're not the McKenzie's. Oh, I miss those rascals. Every street, every corner reminds me of you. Every trash can, every dumpster reminds me of you, too. McKenzie's, where? Kenzie's, I don't know who will pick up the trash with me. McKenzie's, McCartney's is not the same. McKenzie's is the name. Oh, McKenzie's, come back, come back to me. Yeah, you never know who your friends are till you're down. There you go. Welcome from City Hall. I'd like to see the press badmouth me now. Look! King Cowlix lost his power! <laughs> yeah, oh. All right. Once he leaves, I'll lower you down to grab the test. And now for the extra credit question. True. No, that's too predictable. False. There, the English final is complete. It's tough, but fair. Hey, wait a second. Abort! Abort! Ah! What are you doing here? No, don't tell me. Your gang sent you here to vandalize my office and send me a message. Well, let me help. Don't you see, Bob? You can smash my desk, but you can't smash my spirit. Oh, uh, actually, I, I was just here to uh, ask for uh, uh, extra help. The odds are stacked against you. But we'll show that deadbeat dad and crack-addicted mother of yours. This is a perfect cover, eh? While Mr. Belleville is tutoring you, just wait for an opening and steal the test. Perfect! Uh, yeah, that, that's a good idea. Well, I gotta go get tutored. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. That's the spirit, Bob. Go steal that test. Hey, we heard you were gonna steal the answers to the English final. We want them. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, we do have lots of money. I guess we could give you some. 
Oh, now I know what you're talking about. Mom, I need you to give me some money so I can cheat off some poor kid. Hurry up. I don't want to have to keep talking to him. Oh, how much money do you want? I don't know, 20 bucks? Yeah, never mind, Mom. I forgot he was poor and doesn't know how much is a lot of money. Hey, guys, ask him how much is a lot of money. <laughs> hey, how much is a lot of money? Uh, fifty dollars? <laughs> <laughs> Since the educational system has abandoned you long ago, traditional teaching methods won't work. Lucky for you, Mr. Belleville's Honda wouldn't start the day they taught traditional teaching methods. Oh, jeez. Let's try this. Iambic pentameter is just like rap. Why don't you try some Shakespearean rap? I'm a hip-hop Mackenzie in a major way. I like to say, take off, Brute. <sighs> I can't teach you Shakespeare, and I've broken your ability to speak your own language. Why can't I make this book come alive? Maybe I should try reading it? Do whatever you want. Okay, it says right here, uh, oh, uh, uh, yeah, okay, I get it. Uh, his mother wants him to kill everyone to become the king of Scotland. You understand this? Yeah, it's just words on a page. You probably should have just had me read it instead of using your unconventional methods, eh? No, Bob. You taught me. Hey, kids, we're the extreme team, and we're going to show you anything is possible. Get eight servings of fruit every day. Snacks are fine, but only in moderation. Ugh! Ooh, look both ways before crossing the street. Oh, yeah! You mean the test was sitting right there on the desk, and you didn't take it? We don't need to cheat anymore. I can teach you Shakespeare now. You don't understand. I already pre-sold the answer to some other kids. Well, just give the money back, eh? I can't. I already spent it. It's an Excalibur novelty pen. I think it's worth it. Long live the king. Long live the king. Look, Bob. I'm King Arthur. Me, little Dougie McKenzie. A king. I'm sorry. I'll help you study, but I'm not going to cheat. Yeah! Don't skip breakfast! <laughs> Never send a squire to do a king's job. Interior. Oh, wait. Mr. Belleville leaves in search of a salty snack. He passes a janitor, but pays him no mind. He has bigger fish to fry. Ooh, fried fish. You are. You must be the new guy. <laughs> they told me you were pretty. Well, let's get to hazing. John, 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 John. You replaced the bleach, right? Yeah, don't worry. It's just paint. One spaghetti on my balls, please. Okay, here's your. Wait a second. You damn janitors! <laughs> <laughs> What's your job? We gotta get back to hazing. Tested, scanning test, 
first question, the answer was A. The student selected A. The student was correct. Second question. I can't believe I used to grade these things myself. What happened, Mr. Belleville? I, I, I thought I did pretty well. You did, Bob. You scored a 92. But everyone else scored a 100, and unfortunately, I'm a slave to the curve. Well, there must be something you can do. Sorry, Bob. Those are the breaks. Besides, this is a much better story. I try to inspire one student, and I end up inspiring all of them. Except for the one I tried to inspire. Well... In the movie, he can die in a street racing accident the night before the test. Yes. Nice job, S.A. Boy, the things that we were going to do to you if we didn't pass. <laughs> anyway, you might want to enter your car from the passenger side. Oh, thanks, S.A. Hey, you really screwed me, Doug. This is worse than when Brutus betrayed Caesar, eh? Oh, he's just trying to get us our jobs back. Yeah, well, have fun on the garbage route without me. Bob, wait! Jenny the Shock! <laughs> I like a good ribbing as much as the next guy, but not at my expense. Nothing I do pleases these people. You can't sway public opinion with flashy gestures. People won't forget the failing economy just because you throw them a parade. But I could throw them a parade. That's it. A one-time only annual parade. And the whole town will be in it. If the whole town is in the parade, then who's gonna watch it? You will, Charlotte. You will watch the parade. Parade! Fade in. The buxom woman unzips the stalwart teacher's pants. And... Excuse me, Mr. Belleville. I have to confess something. Can it wait, Doug? No. Mr. Belleville, the reason everyone did better than Bob is because I stole the answer key and sold it to them. Wait. You conspired with your classmates to cheat on the test? Hey, I'm really sorry, but I just wanted my job back. I never thought that Bob would fail. This is an amazing Act 3 twist. Of course, the only option is to have the whole class take a retest so that you can all redeem yourselves. No, I'm in way too deep. The gang members will kill me if they have to retake the test. Oh, this is brilliant. But don't think you're getting a writing credit on this. No, you don't understand. Those guys are crazy. They're really going to kill me. Beautiful. Retest? Mackenzie, you ratted us out? No, no, I, I, I didn't do anything. Well, since we ain't got no evidence against you as per the gang code, we can't really retaliate. We'd like to congratulate ethical student of the day, Doug McKenzie, for telling us that everybody cheated on the test. Come by the office any time to claim your trophy and McDonald's gift certificate. Oh, right. Thanks, Morgan. Da -da -da -da. Pow! 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 Wait, put down your knives. You don't have to kill my brother. I'll help you pass. Oh, yeah? How you gonna do that? I'll teach you Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we want to learn Shakespeare? Well, you guys like stabbing, right? No, I joined the gang for the sense of camaraderie. Of course I like stabbing. There's a ton of stabbing in Shakespeare. Just look at this. Huh? Wow, that's some nice stabbing. Oh, yeah, that's good that's stabbing. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Uh -huh. I like that. All, right. all right, let him okay. teach us. So at this point, Bob teaches all the gang members about Shakespeare, but that's boring. So instead, we're going to show you this montage of me and Doug training for a future space war. You know, Bob, I just 
want to say thanks for helping us. Boy, who would have thought that I'd be able to reach out to all these kids, despite my past as a crack addict and member of the KKK? The perfect ending to a perfect story. Now that we have our diploma, we can do anything we want, eh? Yeah, lucky for us, we only aspire to be garbage men. Yeah, I never wanted to be a dental assistant anyway. Good to have you back, Mackenzie's. I wonder whatever happened to those guys that replaced us. Does the insurance cover this? I don't think so, eh? The monster of pure energy exception clause supersedes any space monster coverage. Oh, jeepers, 